Hello, um, my name is Matt Bader Isolu. I came to coach in 2017. I did my BA at Yale University in philosophy and comparative literature. And I did my PhD at New York University in comparative literature. And uh, I work on Turkish German literature, German literature and cinema, and also on media theory. Studying at a research university is a great opportunity for students to learn how to think creatively, independently, and objectively, and also to follow the most recent developments in their fields from a global perspective. Now, learning is a never-ending uh, never process, and at Coach University, students can observe directly how the faculty members contribute to their fields with their research. Interdisciplinary education is especially important in this respect by taking core curriculum courses or electives or using opportunities such as doing double major or minor in a different field. Students can see how knowledge is produced in a variety of disciplines. Learning about the connections between different fields will also inspire them in whatever they do later in life. Studying in Turkey also adds a new perspective, which is very useful in a globalized world. With the exchange programs, we have a very diverse and dynamic classroom environment. And our curriculum is also not only Western oriented. So experiencing diversity in a different context and having a curriculum that is truly international and interdisciplinary will give our students a very broad perspective. Our department's vision reflects the college and the university overall. The program promotes the study of literatures from around the world in an interdisciplinary and comparative context. Our faculty members have expertise in English, French, Turkish, German, Italian, Arabic, and post-colonial literatures, and such a broad range is rarely found, and this is very exciting. People often ask, what is comparative literature? What do you compare? The field of comparative literature emphasizes the importance of multilingual, interdisciplinary, and inter intercultural studies. So instead of studying one national literature, we encourage comparative work between different literatures, historical periods, different cultures, and also between different disciplines, such as media studies, philosophy, social sciences. So we expect our students to be fluent in at least three languages. These would be their native language, English, and one more language, depending on their background and interest. These language skills, as well as the skills to think, read, and write critically will be extremely useful in their postgraduate studies or in the job market. Comparative literature places heavy emphasis on flexibility and diversity. We are a small department, so our faculty members can focus on individual needs, interests, and future goals of our students. By taking different electives, doing double major or minor, they can select from a wider array of courses from multiple disciplines that reflect their interests. And we also can guide them throughout their education and we engage with them individually. Our mission is to make our students good readers and writers. And when I say readers, I don't only mean readers of literature. We should consider the act of reading in a broader context. In our everyday life, we read the news, we read blogs, we read comments on social media. In our jobs, we read reports and documents. So throughout our lives, we keep dealing with discourses, with language, even when we watch movies, for example, or television. And we always take reading for granted. In our program, students learn how to interpret and analyze discourses and how to think critically about discourses in their proper historical and cultural context. This is definitely important for communication. It is also important for solving problems in any area that comes to mind. These skills give our students a global, global perspective that will aid them throughout their entire lives. They can also be our research uh, or teaching assistants and participate in ongoing international projects, which would also be a good reference for them in academia or in the job market. With an ERC grant, we are also planning to establish the first digital humanities lab in Turkey. So students in our program develop the skills needed to live, learn, and work in a global context and in a multicultural society. Our program is built to equip its majors with the required skills to further continue their study in graduate programs. We placed our students in very good graduate programs with very competitive scholarships in the US, in Europe, and also in Turkey. We are also going to open an a May program soon. 
because our program is interdisciplinary, our students continue their postgraduate studies, not only in literature, but also in many other disciplines. Besides comparative literature programs, our students also have pursued postgraduate studies in other fields, such as cultural studies and media studies. Studying in an interdisciplinary field means that you have many different options in the job market. Our majors are prepared to use knowledge and skills gained from the study of literatures and cultures to pursue a range of careers that demand the knowledge of diverse cultures. Our majors work in publishing houses as editors or authors, in media and advertising, cinema, television, or in journalism. They can also work in public relations, festivals, in the culture industry, or in education. Our faculty members are active internationally and our students can find internships in publishing houses that produce works in English. Through the college, they can also find internships at NGOs, which would welcome a different perspective. For me, Koch University is an ideal learning environment where students acquire a truly global perspective. Studying in different fields in Istanbul, a city at the crossroads of different cultures, this is the perfect opportunity for them to become the critical and creative residents of the globalized world in the 21st century. We are looking forward to seeing you among us.